the cloud going straight down, Shannon? That's called a tornado. Seeing a tornado makes a lasting impression. This violent, twisting column of air gets plenty of attention, but it's not the killer you might think. Most years across the United States, more people die from lightning than from tornadoes and hurricanes combined. Norm Reichmeyer is the warning preparedness meteorologist with the local National Weather Service forecast office. His figures show 150 people have died in the past 33 years in Kentucky and Indiana after being struck by lightning. I suggest that when a person sees uh, a thunderstorm obviously approaching and going to pass through their area, that they be close to where they can uh, take shelter. Lightning is just one part of a thunderstorm that can be deadly. Last August, a woman died when she was trapped in her car during flash flooding here at this underpass. Thunderstorms that develop and redevelop and pass over the same area and dump huge amounts of rain, five, sometimes even ten inches of rain over a certain area and with the resulting flash flooding. When a flash flood warning has been issued, leave areas subject to flooding. Avoid areas that are already flooded. Many of these will contain water moving very swiftly. Know the depth of water before trying to cross while driving. If a vehicle stalls, abandon it immediately. Flash flooding at night is especially dangerous. Former Governor Bert Combs drowned while trying to cross a flooded road in an area he had driven many times. Liz, that brings up another point. Reitmeyer says that many people have the it won't happen to me syndrome where weather warnings are concerned. They simply don't heed the warnings like they should. They don't take cover. They don't get inside to avoid the lightning. And they simply drive through water that they don't know how deep it is. Well, Reed, what new technology do we have to help get those warnings to the public quicker? Okay, we have our weather alert system, which has just gone online here at Channel 32. What it does is it enables us to put all weather warnings on the air automatically, instantly, even before the complete message is actually transmitted from the National Weather Service. As soon as we get the counties affected, it goes on the air complete with a map that's color-coded to show you exactly where severe weather is imminent. It can't get to you any faster. And tomorrow night, we'll take a closer look at it. And so the word then is to pay attention to those warnings. Definitely. That's the key word, pay okay. attention. Okay. Thanks so much.